All right, guys, so today we are doing a meal cold weather. This particular one is mini number five, chicken and rice. So this is a, I believe it's 2019. Yeah, 9211, so 211th day of 2019. Um, I think we've done this years ago. It's been quite a, quite a while. And we're going through the cabinet trying to figure out what to do today. And I thought this would be a pretty decent one. Um, to knock out. I did order a bunch of other stuff. It's just simply not here yet. And uh, so yeah, without any further ado, let's go ahead and cut it open and see what we got. Actually, I haven't sharpened that knife in a long time. And it's still pretty, pretty dang good. So starting with this, we got cran raspberry flavored uh, first strike bar. We have cheddar cheese pretzels. Chocolate hazelnut cocoa beverage powder. We have our Bridgeford uh, French toast. Be interesting. Spoon. Our main entree, which is the chicken and rice of a mountain house. Accessory pack. A little bottle of Tabasco sauce. Standard. Military gum, our non-dairy creamer, Bill's Brew coffee, sugar, toilet paper, moist towelette, and a pack of matches. So let's get a tray, let's get some water boiling, we'll be right back. Let's start off by doing the main first because obviously it's going to take the longest to do. Chicken and rice, you can see right here. Let Philip get in there real good. Freeze dried stuff pretty much has no smell at all to it whenever you're doing it. And let's go ahead and grab our kettle here. First, let's unwrap this. Let's start dumping it in. You can hear it, it's like crackling. Start to stir it. It is sucking that water up like crazy. We'll keep going. And here's how we're looking so far. You hear it boiling in the bag. That kettle is crazy hot. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna leave this. I'll try to fold this over a little bit. And we're gonna set it back here out of the way, just like that. Uh, next up, I'm gonna make a little bit of coffee. We have our mugs here. Our Bill's Brew. You see it's a nice freeze-dried coffee, like always. Is that enough or think any more? Uh, a little more. It's a pretty big cup, so I don't wanna I don't wanna overdo it. And we're just gonna make the the hazelnut chocolate. And Phil's brother's here. And we asked him when a coffee, he said, hell yeah, he does. We'll pass it off to him maybe. It's double wall cup, so it's not gonna burn your face off. You. There you go, sir. Thank you. If it's not good, then don't blame me. Um Let's go ahead and make the hazelnut, the chocolate hazelnut cocoa beverage powder next. It seems like I sharpened the knife a lot, but we haven't actually sharpened that in probably three months. You're about to witness Phil's brother burn his face off here. Trying yeah, to drink that coffee. Don't drink it yet. It's like too hot. Gonna cook all his taste buds off. This line's actually down there a little further. Make sure not to overdo it on this. We'll zip this. That water is almost too hot. It's like I can't right. touch the bag yeah. or anything. 
I'll fold this the over. Be scalding. See what it's doing? As I was shaking, it's like puffing, puffing up real big. I think it's still wicked, wicked hot. And we're gonna let Phil try that one because he's into that kind of stuff. I'm sure the sugar content on that baby is probably yeah. through the roof. Probably a lot. You guys know I'm still on that 90% no sugar diet, so we can't be eating a whole bunch of crap. So these things are basically combos. And combos are a big thing back in the 90s. And you can see here, that's what you get. Cheddar cheese pretzels. And yeah, I mean, it's a combo. I don't really say too much else about it. We may have overkill here. That is overkill in it. I think so. This is something a little bit Probably. smaller. That main is so big, it won't fit in our uh, our bowls. I want to dump it all out, so we'll use our clear measuring cup. It's the next best thing. That's a lot of food, man. That's like a lot, lot. And discard her bag over there. And let's give it just a little bit of a try before I do. I'll crank open the old Tabasco. And let's just try a little bit. I can't hold all this, so I'm gonna try to do this without contaminating the whole deal. There we go. I think that's still hot, man. It might be. Probably burn your face off hot. Yep, it is. Pretty damn hot. You wanna try? I'll hold it over there for you. I mean, it's chicken and rice. You know, uh, it's not real salty. Got kind of that chicken broth kind of background to it. And uh, careful though, man, so burn you up. Some Tabasco sauce on it, cool it off for you? No, I'm all right. Hot. It's a hot enough for you. So next up, we'll hit the yeah, cran... It's steaming hot. Wow. Yeah, it is pretty hot. The cranberry first strike bar. That's a good chicken flavor, though. It's like brothy. It'd be good if you're cold. Yep. That's probably why they have it. There's a cranberry for a strike bar right here. It's gonna break off a little piece. Perhaps. Have you had one of these before, the cranberry ones? I don't know. Is, is that, is, it's probably bad on fillings, or what do you think? Um, is it like a Tootsie Roll? Not necessarily. I'll try a little piece here. I gotta, I'll try, one. I'll try a little slab of it. Yep. Drop it right in the chicken and rice. Well, it's not good for fillings, I can tell you that much. Was it tits a real level? No, not quite. But we got a filling hanging on. Yeah, it'll take Probably it good out. to it'll take stay it away from that one. So, that being said, next up is our French toast. The Bridgeford Filled French Toast Shell Stable. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. There we go. Also, you guys that are still watching this video at this point in time, let us know what you're interested in seeing as far as ration reviews. Like, what's your favorite ration review? Maybe we'll take you guys up on that. Let's say something that costs like 600 bucks, probably will. 
But uh, so let me slab this in half once. You just be able to see the the cross cut of it. There you go. Not much filling in this one at all. And the last one of these we did, I ate half of this, like one whole piece. Man, you were pretty sugared up. I was. I remember that. The sugar was make me all hyper and then all of a sudden it made me start feeling kind of sick which is what it does if you don't eat sugar for a long time to eat it a piece of this man sure definitely got the french toast flavor going on with it not a lot of filling though it's almost like a french toast pancake kind of deal that's good though. It's really good. So overall, what do you, what's your thoughts on this ration? Keep in mind, you need a lot of water to yeah, make this. There's a lot of water. But is freeze dry better than eating out of squeezing out of a pouch and eating it? Every time. Yep. Yeah. Now, also, it doesn't go just as far as you need water to make it. If you eat a bunch of freeze dried stuff, it will suck water out of your body. So you need to also drink water with it. Right. Um, if you reconstitute it very well, probably not the case. This is actually pretty good reconstituted. Yeah. But if you do when it's this like halfway reconstituted, um, you know that could be an issue. So that's gonna be it for our first track ration, guys. Hope you liked the video. And comment below what your favorite ration is. Or what do you want to see us review? And we'll try to make that happen. That's gonna be it. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. We'll see y'all later.